Hi guys, welcome to another KDN Live tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to blur out a license plate. So in this example I just put a piece of paper over my license plate, but we're going to make a box that follows with that. Now the problem I've had is I was trying to find a way to make the box automatically track the license plate as it moves throughout the video. So let's just show you an example of that meaning here. I googled around a little bit and I couldn't really find anybody that knew how to do it except I found this one method where we would splice the video. Now I just want to blur and hide, it's under audio corrections here. We're going to get that effect and then we're going to excur. But first let's add the video to the timeline. So we do that, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and we go and get our excur tool here and drag it into the video. So now that we got it, we got this box here we can move around, you can resize it, whatever you need to do. I'm just going to go, normally I would go a little bit bigger than the license plate, that way when we splice it we don't have to do hundreds of increments as it moves over but let's just play this and I'll show you what I mean oops let me mute that so you don't have to hear that as you see the license plate moves out of that blur box but we need to make it so it follows it so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here there it's good and we're just going to play this until it moves out and we're going to splice the video here we hit the X on our keyboard. As you see over here, when you hover above the razor tool over here, there is an X that will give you the razor tool. And then if we go to our selection tool right here, and we hover above that, it shows S. You see that S? That's just a shortcut. It's a lot easier than have to constantly keep coming up here and clicking that. So now we're going to get our razor tool and we're going to splice it there. Hit your S for your selection tool. I'm going to just move this up. And then we are going to creep forward a little bit. We're going to hit X. And we're going to splice it again. Let me zoom in this a little bit. And we just keep doing this to follow the license plate. Okay, now we're going to splice that again. And we are going to move the box down. Right about there. Okay, now we are going to hit X again, splice the video, and we're going to move the box. Okay, whoops, a little too far. We're going to splice it right there, and we are going to move the box again. And you just keep doing this. What I mean, it's kind of tedious, so you can't really t uh, track it. Maybe I'll make a later video on how to do this if I figure out how to do it. But this is, for now, the best example I could come up with how to do that. Went a little too far again. And yeah, we're going to splice it right about there. We're going to move the box. I'm going to place it right about here. We move the box all the way over. Now that we got the license plate out of the frame, we just go until right there. I'm going to place it. Maybe go back a little bit. Right about there. I'm going to place it. And now that we don't need it, because then, uh, for the next few seconds, the license plate will be out of the video, and we don't need that blur box right there. So we're going to go do and go up here to the properties. You see it's in properties. We selected this track that you don't need it in. This is a little red trash can. We just hit that, delete it, and then we just continue watching the video until the plate comes back into the frame. Okay, it's going to be coming in here soon. So we're going to add our blur box again. So we're going to splice the video. Let me scroll over here a little bit. We're going to grab our scare tool again, and we are going to drop it back in. I did resize that just a little bit. So we put it there, and then we're going to watch the video. And we maybe need to go back just a smidge. Right about there, we're going to splice it. And then we are going to drag the box over. We're going to splice it again right there. We're going to move that box right about there. Okay, splice it again. And this is the best method I've found with this program of um, trying to blur out like somebody's face or something of that sort. There's got to be a way to track something. I'm, I, I really think there is, but I haven't figured it out. So we just keep doing this until it's just a little too far. And we're going to splice about there. And was it? I'm going to move that plate right there. And we just keep doing this until you got it all covered. 
Now you see I started moving the camera up, so we gotta get there and keep doing this. This is a little too far. Let's jump back here in the video and let's place it right about there. And we need to move the box. And we just. Okay, I think that's the end of the video. And I had to move the plate back in one more time. So we're going to jump back to around here. We're going to hit cut it. And then we're going to move the box up a little bit. And we moved it. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and the video will be, I'll export it and let you guys watch it. Here's my 91 Ford Ranger. It's got the 2.3 liter engine in it, 5 speed. Let me come over here, you see the body's not too bad of shape. I'm recording this because my uh, camera had really bad audio out in the wind and stuff. Yeah, you see the bumpers are a little bit rusted. There's the ladder rack I built. That'll be in a future video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you guys.